Welcome, level uppers, to another live <laughs> reaction time. Star Wars, Rogue One, or Star. What, what's it called? Rogue One, a Star Wars story? I always get Rogue mixed one, up. A Star Wars I think so. Story. Rogue One so comes first. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Yeah, 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 yeah. A Star Wars yeah. story. Yeah. Thank you for screaming so loudly, Greg. Uh, yeah, the the second time. story trailer has released. Let's check it out. Okay. If you don't see it, it's because we remo removed the trailer yeah. for copyright reasons. But you will get our <laughs> feedback on the trailer following that. Let me know when we're hitting play. We are hitting play in three, two, one, now. We just watched the trailer for Rogue One, a Star Wars story. This was the uh, second official trailer. So we had a teaser trailer, a first story trailer, and now this is the second story trailer. Mm -hmm. And then, as we said during it, if you guys missed it, uh, it's the best one. Yeah. yeah. By far, it's the best one. Um, I think for the music is what does it a lot in this one. But also, you it's... hear a lot more of those Star Wars sounds. Not the music, but like the sounds. You know, you know what I'm what talking about? about? Like it was, it's yes. different for me. I, I, I like that. No, don't get me wrong, but... It was to me, I mean, Jyn Erso actually showed that she was capable of emotion further than I'm a rebel. I'm a That's rebel. true. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we got that finally. And then we got a lot of, we had a lot of different set pieces. You know, mm -hmm. before, you know, it was just, you know, hey, look at this location and look at this. But now we actually see why, why we're there for some reason. This did a lot for me seeing mm -hmm. Mads Mikkelsen as Jyn mm -hmm. father and realizing that there's this whole connection between mm -hmm. like the the Death Star and her father and that like this, there's a whole importance there now mm -hmm. yeah. um and it also just gives as you were saying more emotion and personality to Jin mm -hmm. and her involvement in this whole thing so that that just pushes me more into this story right. and I'm more I'm very curious now about that relationship and who this guy is and uh if he's good or bad or still alive or not alive and there's good mystery there they set the tone they set the tone for not only the world a little bit better in this i think but for overall the the whole cast of characters here right especially this guy right here you get a good sense of power yeah yeah it's like he was doing his like best james earl it sounded like yeah he's um, talking to darth vader in that yeah. scene and you just imagine darth is going to come back with you do not even know the yeah power I, before, I, I can't wait to yeah. <laughs> honestly this this trailer was the one where i was finally like I'll see this. Okay, we're <laughs> fucking rolling now. Right. I was always going to see it. Well, right, right, right. I wasn't that high on it until this. I watched this multiple times, and I was like, this was the one I was waiting for, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling it. This trailer is fucking great. Uh, this really? is going to easily be, the, I think, the biggest spectacle Star Wars movie. Oh, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. It looks I've, beautiful. I was told that there's a statue of Jedi in there That's somewhere. where I was going oh, yeah. to right now. There it is. Okay, I see um, it. Go a little further forward. There you go. There's a good shot of it. I'll put it up on the big screen. So a lot of people are talking about this being the channel, the uh, sorry, the uh, planet, which is spelled J E D H I. I don't know if it's pronounced Jedi or Jedi or whatever, but it was the Jedi planets. Um, and you can see that there's this. You can actually see in the middle. You see that little dot in the middle. That's mm -hmm. a, a, a ship. So that just shows the scale of the statue. Right. It's hundreds yeah. of feet tall and has you know since toppled, but. Uh, yeah, it gives a lot of uh, lore and mythology to this whole thing that mm -hmm. I'm very curious about as well. So yeah, a lot of people are focusing on Some that Some people shot. are trying to say that might be Obi-Wan. It looks a lot like him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Greg, oh, sorry, we haven't heard from you at all yet. What are you feeling after watching this trailer? Guys, it's like... <laughs> It's all of everything I wanted it to be and more. Like, yeah. this is legitimately, like, I was excited about it on the first trailer. Like, I know I was really hyped when the first teaser trailer came out. And I was just hyped about this idea. This is Star Wars Rebels, the cartoon on Disney XD, come to life. Like, this is the live-action totally version good. of that. It's mm -hmm. the it's the group of Rebels that nobody knows about or like cares about until you see them and they're going to take out the big bad and this is everything that i wanted from the star wars universe all the locales and all the settings are so aesthetically pleasing in this movie like each setting and location i'm excited to see right like, there's not one that i've seen in one of the trailers so far where i'm like oh that looks like fucking dark and dreary and boring <laughs> like every single one is so detailed because they're like undercover spies now i just really like that the universe in my mind has always been like mass effect where like there's so much to explore other than the Skywalker family. And I love the Skywalker family and those trilogies of movies and the main storyline is phenomenal. But, like, there's so much more to this universe. And I feel like now we're finally getting that with Rogue One. Um, Jen Arso, I'm finally sold on. Well, I was sold on her in the beginning. But, like, I'm finally sold on her as far as, like, now the connection with her dad. I didn't know what they would use as her yeah, plot speaking of that, I see we've got Mads Mikkelsen back on screen here. Mm -hmm. But the question is, when does this scene take place? 
uh, you know, he's in like a uniform, it looks like. Mm -hmm. So like, was he brought over into the Empire and working for them now? Because he built he built the Death so what, Star, right? But she what, said we had to find her father. So right. I'm thinking that he's kind of forced into it. Like if yeah, you don't do like this, he'll kill like your daughter. Yeah, like he was like almost right? Yeah. And like charged with the duty of like doing this for them, like begrudgingly. So he was like a genius, I guess, that's, and they they knew the that and they I stole yet. him hostage to build the Death Star or yeah. or come up with the plans for the Death Star, I guess. Yeah. And I guess that's what they're trying to now steal back mm -hmm. so that they can destroy it. So that, that's cool. I, I I like that idea. And I'm with you, Chris. The whole spy angle, which is what attracted me to this in the first place. And you see that a lot in the trailers at multiple points. That these are just humans. Mm -hmm. They're not yeah. Jedi. You got the one blind guy who's, you know, martial arts superstar. But, mm -hmm. you know, otherwise, like, you're seeing these guys, like, you know, taking heavy breaths, like, while, while they're, you know, behind cover. And, like, I feel... Like, I feel that. I'm into that. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm watching a war movie, like Saving Private Ryan, yeah. where they're up against insurmountable odds, yep. and, you know, they That's gotta what I was steal gonna these say. plans. Definitely a war movie vibe, which It I'm feels like for. Black Hawk Down, but with Star Wars. Like, it feels very... I good. wouldn't go that far, but yeah, I get it. Like, it definitely has that tone to it of, like, this is intense. It's not just, you know, all sci-fi Like, and this magic. is important. Like, like this, this is what is, it comes down yeah, to. Yeah, like, it's like, life or death for these guys. I just wonder uh, <clears throat> how it ends, you know? People die. I wonder if they Gene. build people it. If they get, if the thing gets built, you're the worst. I'm not sure. <laughs> a lot the of people worst. die. Actually, an no, entire this, planet this awesome, where the people though, die. Dude. I'm like super, super high on this trip. It's such a short little shot, but this is what I'm talking about here. Was this mm -hmm. guy behind the cover? Like, I, you yeah. know, you don't like know what's gonna happen. To this guy, if he's gonna live or die, but he's about to go out and start running. And like, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I just, I'm very invested in like all the characters that they feel the weight of. Uh, they really like, right. kind of linger on that shot. Space too. battles. <laughs> Give it space up battle. No, <laughs> seriously, like you're I know. really good. At, I know. Let's go funny. space battle in a, the Force Awakens. Yeah, dude. There was yeah, no true. space battle. No. Uh, that's not true. It was all on the planet, wasn't it? Escaping from the what the fuck are they called? They call them now the Star Destroyer. Yeah. What do they yeah. call? What do they call them now? They're not the Empire. Anymore. The First Order. When Poe and Finn escape from the First Order, yeah. I thought that was yeah, a very good that was a rad sequence. Okay. Yeah. That was but very yeah, short, or, though, but too. that was about it. But that was a cool sequence. I don't think. Oh, I agree. That. No, it wasn't glossed over. I don't think. But like, yeah, I, I'm very curious as to what um, Forrest Whitaker's role is. Oh, there it is. I was looking for it. And yeah, it Forrest Whitaker. Shot. Okay, so we got our one shot of. Oh my God, was that it? Yeah, pretty much. There it is. Okay. Uh, this alone, just like the two seconds. He's intimidating. He's imposing. Like yeah. I feel like the height and the weight behind him, as yeah. opposed to. In you know, uh, Revenge, Revenge of the Sith, mm -hmm. when he was going, no, like he looked like a scrawny little dude. Yeah, he looks really small. Right. He looks imposing here, coming through the mist like that. This has got to be the scene where we never see this guy again. I just <laughs> got the way <laughs> well, he was like, bent, especially because you can see right after this, and he's bent down. It's like he looks like he's sweating his balls off. And he's yeah. like kneeling in front of him. Yeah, I think he's done. He's toast. <laughs> Okay, you so, you know, we've been talking multiple times about the end of this movie, and if we're going to get, like, the Darth Vader coming in, like, snapping necks and, like, throwing people oh, and, like, full-on hard I villain. honestly think that you're going, like, I, I will bet you half of the main crew will die, and I will bet you a lot of it's also at Darth Vader's hands. That's what I'm and feeling, get, too, and that's going to be awesome. I really hope so, dude. I can't wait to see this guy die. That that's, so <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I want from this, because I want that emotional punch where we don't know who any of these characters are. We don't know if they're going to live or die. Like, we don't even know Jin Erso is going to live because we don't know anything about her character. Right. So this entire crew that is, you know, tasked with stealing these plans, they mm -hmm. might, they're going to accomplish it. We know, obviously, because we know what happens in A New Hope, but do they all die in the process? Yeah, all like, jokes aside, the ending is really curious because like, it, people would maybe think that like, you know what's going to happen because obviously they build the Death Star. Right. Spoilers. But what happens to these characters? Not necessarily they don't all die. Maybe some are still out in the world, and then it's like, oh shit! Like this person made it. Are we gonna see them pop up later in like episode eight or something like that? Like you don't know, right? Which is cool. A lot of potential for some new stories and new people to pop up in the mainstream Star Wars movies as well. Uh, but I loved it, dude. I thought it was really good. Yeah, this was the best trailer so far. Agreed. I'm pumped, man. When does this come out? December. I think yep. December sixth. Yeah. Is it? Totally pumped. A lot of good movies this season. Yeah, there are. Yeah. There are a lot of them. All right. Thank you so much for watching this reaction time. If you like the video, please like it on YouTube. Subscribe. Leave your comments. Mm -hmm. Leave your feedback. Let us know what you thought of Rogue One, a Star Wars story trailer number two. Uh, and if you want to catch more of these live reaction times, go to twitch.tv slash the level up show and follow us there. Until next time, take care. And as always, don't forget to level, level up. up. Hey, level uppers. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to check out our other content, please do. Like your favorite superhero podcast, Power Up, right here.
or for everything PlayStation. It only does PlayStation right there. For movies, television, and Netflix, check out the Lights Up Show down this way. And for the latest episode of our gaming talk show, The Level Up Show, go right there. But most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe right there. there. Nailed it. We did it. That was, yeah, awesome. that was good. Which one do you think they'll click on? I think probably, Level Up Show, probably, obviously. Hopefully, all of them. Yeah. I would like if they watched them all, I think. Lights Up is new, though. I think they should definitely check that out. Lights Up's a new one. Power Up's always a new about one. about seven, eight seconds now. Yeah. We're... <laughs> well, you think they've clicked on something? Right. We're still here, so no. <laughs> I think they should. We should give them a little on, bit Did you more. click on something? Click on something, guys. We need to go. The hell are you I'm going to give it three for? seconds. Watch all things to do. Three. Just click. Stare them down. Stare them down until they do it. One. Ah.